And I know what folks have come in here for. <laughs> uh, we have a couple of episodes to, uh, to catch up on. And, um, you know, I, um, you know, the, the, I do know the viewers, you know, or the fans, you know, they, they want to know exactly, you know, where you been, you right. know. <laughs> they, they didn't see me. You know what? I was getting that question too. Like, um, why haven't we seen much of you on the show? Mm -hmm. What's going on? This and what's on that. To be honest with you, I, I, um, when you guys started back filming, there's a lot going on up here with me in what? Jersey. Mm -hmm. What actually was your real issue? Because I know you ain't petty enough to just be like, oh, well, she didn't. Yeah, it's good. not that. Yeah. So can you just explain to everybody what your, what your issue is? Well, you know what? Let's rewind back. You know, I went on season one. Latrice reached out to me, season two, um, and asked me to be, you know, audition for a castmate on Bell Collective. She um, thought very highly of me. Um, so were y'all hanging out, like, you guys were cool? Did you know I, her? We're, we're, we're from the same hometown, you know, we're from the same hometown, so I, I knew Latrice, I knew her family, and I was like, you know, I, I was like, we, you know, wow, this really feels good that she thought about somebody from her hometown. You know, it's all about bringing people up. She knew that I was doing great things here in Jackson. She knew I was a great real estate agent. She knew that, you know, I was living a great life with my husband. We were doing different things. And she like, hey, you know what? She she fits the definition of a bail. So I'm going, you know, so I, I talked with Latrice and I patronized with her before I go by her, um, Goddess Link, and I bought her hair. We would say different things, never an issue. I thought she was a sweet, you know, sweet lady. So we became, you know, close. And I'm like, okay, well, Latrice bought me on here. Um, so Latrice, you know, that's my friend, you know, I, you know, we, we good. Mm -hmm. um, and on the show, of course, I show her a building and I asked her, just like I asked you, you know, Latrice, are you really, you know, looking for a building? She's like, yeah, Gucci, I need me a building. So off camera, Latrice, like, hey, Gucci, can you, uh, this is building, this baking, can you come out and show me this building? Can you get in touch with the listing agent so we can get in and my husband and I can look at the building? Mm -hmm. I was like, I was really excited. I'm like, great. You know, what better look closing with on your building with one of your castmates, you know, or friends, right. people like that, friends. Right, right, right. And, you know, I went out and showed Latrice the building. And Latrice says, like, hey, Gucci, show me one building. But don't leave out the part that Gucci was negotiating for you. We couldn't come to a meeting of the minds. We couldn't get to a, we were negotiating. You know, Cliff quoted this price. The listing agent wanted this price. It was just a couple of, you know, we all we almost met at the, at the point where we can close on this building. Okay. Um, so I said, well, Latrice, I'm, I'm going to send you some buildings. You know, Latrice would get automatic emails to every time a new building come up, Latrice would get them. Latrice would get them. And I got other clients, so no, I wasn't, you know, calling her every uh, every day. Hey, Latrice, this building. Hey, this, you know. But you but did was, have her on your. Um, I forgot what it is when you guys. I don't because that's the same thing with my real like when how right, much those like, emails like that you or whatever. Mm -hmm. It'll let me know. So you were expecting if this is your friend, if she sees something she's like she likes, she's getting my what I have that email. Mm -hmm. open, she'll tell me like, hey, let me tell you how her name came up. Um, Latrice, we was doing the scene and she whispered to me, she said, girl, um, Selena used to sleep with my husband and, you know, they, they, they kind of want me to bring that up. They had anything to do with me. So Cliff and, and Latrice brought Selena in the mix. My she husband. Did tell me that? Oh, I, I probably did, but yes. That's so don't think that my husband, you know, we, it came to us. They brought her up. It came to us. That's what she did. My husband didn't know anything about it until it it was brought up season two. Well, he I, made, all these years, he did not know that it was the was tree the guy one. that she was sleeping with oh. until Latrice. So Latrice, them knew. The whole camp knew. They knew. Because I said, well, I mean, they ain't got nothing to do with me. You, yeah, you well, know? It was, to the extent of, I guess you were saying, she invited her to get back at you. Like, you right, and the like, only reason why... You know, with the baby shower, they, you know, you they filmed my baby baby shower. It went more than right to film Jay's first grandson baby shower. And I knew that she was going to be a part of it. Right. So that's why that happened. That's why the baby shower was filmed. Because, you know, this is Jay's first grandson. And, of course, you know, let, let's film that. 
you know. Yeah. So it wasn't like, you know, but at Latrice event, I wasn't expecting her. But to you did, you called this girl an extra. Now you knew you. I mean, I'm trying to figure out. I mean, we got, you, you got the six successful entrepreneurs here in Jackson, Mississippi. And I don't see her on that equation. I mean, she just, I mean, I'm just being honest. Maybe, you know, I don't know. And it, 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 man, that was mean, Gucci. That was mean. I, okay, that was mean. Well, but I Gucci mean, did it try to walk off. It didn't cause for what happened. Yeah, if it you did. said that, then you know, especially if she's trying, if you're trying to get on the show and you wanted to get you a spot on the show, the way you handled that, that wasn't it. Because all of us know that on um, don't play that shit. Mm -mm. And right. here's and the thing: I didn't know Akeisha, uh, because it whatever happened happened so quick. Watching this thing, I didn't know they was like. Um, I, I remember the part when she said, you know, hey, I was on TV before, but the JJ, I was married to JJ first. We're not even arguing about my husband. We're not, what, why are we bringing up my husband? That's your insecurity. That's when the, people can't register. That's, you really see who is potentially maybe jealous. I was married to your husband first. Do it matter? I no, I mean, you, you, you smell with clip first. <laughs> but anyway, that was a little shade. Mm. But anyway, uh, that that was that part wasn't called for. I mean, yeah, I know you was married to him first. Whatever happened, it I wasn't the cause of their breakup. You know, let me just whatever was going on with them. Gucci came after whatever happened. So and don't be mad at me because like I'm the cause of them not together. Most of the time, most of the time when I see Selena, mm -hmm. she's you know she's a pretty girl, mm -hmm. so she's you know floating around and doing this. And if she gets smart, she you know I was expecting her to come in, even if y'all were having shade. You know, if I'm the ex-wife, like she said, well, listen, honey, um, oh, okay, well, you don't want to speak, but then don't worry about it. Like, I would have been given, there's no way you would have been there. after that extra line. I would be like, okay, I'm extra, but I'm, and I'm here. I'm, I'm yeah, that's right, like, something like, like I that, or. throwing it back just to go where the cameras would have been like, oh, my God, oh, it's like wanting to follow it, do. There was no reason to, for it to go as far as yeah. it went with the two of you. But I, like, do want the, I do want the viewers to know I did try to avoid whatever went up. I was walking up. It, it was just some reason she just had to get a conversation with me. There are plenty of the women in the room that can speak to her or she could have had a conversation with, but just to, you can't demand, you can't make, you know, I, it's, it's okay for you to take up for your mom. They're gonna try to take up for me and you're gonna try to take up for your mom. But be careful what you, you know, it's out there. Once you put it out there, you can't get it back. Yeah. Y'all are, you know, y'all are still going to be, and I, to be a part of it. No matter what they say about, about me, I still love them. They can say whatever they want to say about me. I still love them. And and I don't care, you know, you, it's not, I, I got to do what I, I have to be the adult when it comes to that. The main thing, whatever happened in that situation, which we'll see more next week, the first thing I said, I hate the fact that this is happening in front of Sun Sanjay. She was there. Because well, we're supposed to set an example. I'm not